All right, everybody. Welcome back to Decidedly Vanilla. Um, I haven't really done much at all. Um, I hollowed this out right here, so that way I have an idea for where this fellow is up top. Because I do have some um, plans for him, as you can imagine. Uh, I want to make him into... Um, an XP farm, as well as for uh, getting a couple villagers by converting them at some point. Um, they tend to drop potatoes and carrots, so I want those, as well as iron tools and armor and weapons. Well, weapon. Um, so that's kind of the grand plan for that. Um, marked my house here. Um, I did move over, um, well, not really moved over, but I abandoned the abandoned mine shaft. So now that's available for anybody to use. I don't have any of my personal stuff over there. Um, I did record it, but it wasn't nothing terribly interesting about moving my stuff over here. So um, I grabbed some of these, these, I didn't make any of these chests because they all came for, I think I made one of them anyway. They came from... Um, the dungeons. So I just kind of got those hanging out here. Just been making iron when I found it here. Um, let's see what else is there. That's pretty much it. Um, I know some people want to see everything I do. Some people want to see only the builds. So um, I'm trying to keep it concise. Um, I ran around with the tree saplings because I want to get more oak trees. So I'm going to need a lot of wood around here for what I have planned. Um, which, for now, I don't really want to go into the specifics of what I want to do just yet, because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do it, and I'd hate to, um, I'd hate to give you guys too much hope. Um, here is the hole for the, uh, for the dungeon. Um, I was kind of scouting out the area around here. Oh, um, here's the hole for the cows, which I think might be ready for another breeding here. Yes, please. Oh, and I got this little farm going here just a minute ago. I uh, finally planted the, uh, the, um, the pumpkins. And this is all wheat here. It's probably going to need to be a lot bigger at some point. But I figure for right now, that'll be fine for getting my resources going. So as far as the lay of the land here, uh, back here is uh, nothing, imp nothing terribly interesting. Um, uh, mostly just that jungle with the... Uh, uh, with the temple, I think, is up there. Oh, wait. Am I mistaken? Oh, look, floating cow. Um, okay, it's not loading. Let me get closer here. I thought this was the place with the jungle temple. But anyway, jungle. Um, and then over that direction, over, over there, yeah, is uh, just more hillside and water. Um, I don't know if that's considered an ocean biome or not. And then over this way... I forget what's over here. Oh yeah. The, uh, the side of that mountain, so I don't want to build out that way. So, um, what I can say about what I'm going to be building here is it's all going to be going out that direction there. Now that is towards spawn. So, one thing that I do want to have is not necessarily like a... Uh, a welcoming... Oh, hello. Where am I? Okay. Um, Alright, hang on a second. Let me get out of here. Um, not necessarily like a welcome gate, but I want to be able to have it so when people are exploring, coming this way from spawn, they'll be able to approach it and they'll be like, oh, okay. I know whose estate this is, because that's the way I kind of do builds, is by estate, not really in um, houses per se, so you, I sometimes only use that just to, so that way you guys know what I'm talking about, because some people are like, what's an estate? I don't get it. So, um, like I said, I've got the, um, I've got my graph paper, ooh, hello, got my graph paper out, so I know kind of the the spread of what I'm looking to do, and I still, gosh, there's so much exploring that I want to do. Let me guys, let me know, guys, if you want to see just me going into random caves, or or if you only want to see, 
interesting stuff when I cave because I can always just, you know, let the camera roll and then if something interesting <laughs> happens, I'll, you know, clue you guys in. But I've gotten feedback that some of you guys don't want to see that. You don't want to see this, you know, you don't want to hear the story of how I got there. You want to see it with me at the same time. So um, I'm open I'm open to that feedback. Um, so for right, whoop, dang it. Um, for right now, I think what I want to do... Um, what do I want to do? I think I want to start working on this because we're going to need the XP and once I start mining this out, it'll kind of give me an idea. It'll be a marker for what I eventually want to have as my uh, mine shaft. Um, I like to do branch mining. So that'll kind of be one of the ways that I do that. Um... And that'll allow me to get some resources, which will then in turn allow me to actually get the build going, which should be the more interesting uh, aspects of the LP for you guys. So uh, my plan for right now is uh, I don't think I necessarily want to uh, get the XP farm, or rather I, I want to kind of have it, but I don't want to have it functioning just yet because that can be kind of dangerous when you're still kind of getting your build going. I just want to have the room cut away and my plan is to have it be a um, uh, a, a drop farm. So I'm going to have a, uh, I don't know if you want to call it a tube or if you're what the, the term is for it. Um, it's going to be directly below it and it's going to drop him, uh, I forget what it is, like something like 23 blocks or whatever it is so that way they just kind of break their knees and then in you know one or two punches I can kill them so that'll be my plan um, and the collection oh, let me get my bearings here sorry I'm not exactly sure um, my, my my graph paper is not exactly schematics it's kind of general um, general spacing here in relation to markers which this will be so um, this will be kind of like the right side as you're walking on into the estate and that's going to be the entrance up there oh cool trees that'll, that'll make it nice and easy to find um, so that'll be up there so then the collection side of the drop is actually going to be on this side um, so that way you're actually in the estate, getting fed the the zombies. So, um, looks like night is coming upon us here. I don't know that I necessarily need to uh, to sleep. I think I can kind of build through this. So, uh, let me make sure I got this right here. I definitely want to. I need to do something with the cows too. I've kind of made a note. Um, at least I think I did. On my little sheet here. Um, well, maybe I didn't. Or, yeah, I have a note here. Where to put cows and wheat. So I'm not exactly sure the best way oops, to, to handle that aspect of it. Because I kind of get... I kind of go back and forth when it comes to um, farms. Um... Because I, 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 you know, you want to have them out in, a, out in front of everything so that way it's more realistic. But then again, they're easier to trample by mobs. Um, you never know when someone might, you know, run through it. Um, they can get trampled, things like that. And I really would like to avoid that. So, um, but then again, I don't really, I think it's ugly to have them all, uh, what you call it, fenced off and such as well. So, eh. I kind of go back and forth on that. I've also made it where it's just a farming machine, and then it's not really, you know, something that's cool, and it has function, but it's not terribly inviting, and it makes it harder for anybody to use it. Like, I made a, um, a wheat machine where all I do is seed wheat, seed wheat, seed wheat, or not wheat, but uh, seed uh, bone meal, and that's obviously not going to work anymore with the bone meal changes, so... Skelly. Okay, so if I... Let me make sure I'm facing the right way. Sorry, I got distracted there. Okay, I'm hearing him. Is he down here? 
He must be. Where are you? Yep. Oh, geez. A couple of them. What's up, fellas? Good day to die? I'm thinking yes. Oh, geez. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. You die. Ow. Man, these guys hit hard. Ooh, thank you for the bow. Got an existing bow, so I should be able to, uh... I should be able to merge that, I think. Oh. Oh, another abandoned mine shaft. Awesome! All right, cool. I guess maybe I don't have to go to that other one. And I don't like to, like to let, uh... Coal go un unmined here. So let me grab this, and then... We'll head back over to... Over to the um, zombie spawner and start working on the uh, <laughs> tube, I guess we'll just call it that, the vertical tube, the drop tube. I apologize for the darkness here. All right, that should be, should be sufficient. Let's get out of here. I should probably put a sign up for that. Do I have a sign? Oh, it's down there. All right, give me a sign. I definitely don't want to forget about that. Where was it? That was... Is it here? Is this it? I think this was it. Yes, okay, so where was the actual mine shaft itself? It's way back there. Okay. We will put a torch there. And I need to get a sign out, because otherwise I'm going to forget that it's here. Okay, you know what? That can just go away. Let's do this. Hang on. Go back, go back, go back. Abandoned mine shaft. That way. Cool. That ought to do it. All right. Let's get back to. Dang it. Let me up. Let's get back to the zombie spawner. I keep going the wrong way. Oh, dang. I remember what I was going to do. So much just fun distractions in this game. I need to make sure I was facing the right way. Okay, so I want to be facing that way. And that way is which way? Where am I looking here? Direction, please. I'm looking, what is it, one, two, three, or four? Which way am I facing? Oh, okay, west, okay, facing west. Okay, that's what I want, one is west. Okay. All right, so this is the way I want to be facing. Okay, good. All right, let's start getting this stuff out of here. Oh, my stone. I think you're swell. No real plans for it. In fact, I, truth be told, I much prefer the stuff from uh, Strongholds. What is it called? The Cracked or whatever it is. But... Uh, this is far, far more accessible and easier to get. So, is what it is. Mm. 
So glad to have cows now. Aren't you? Don't they make this just the most fantastic sounds? <laughs> I never really know just how many cows one should keep on hand, you know, because you got to kill them off in order to get their leather. It's not like you can just shear it off of them while they're alive like you can with sheep. Um, but you got to keep enough on hand to keep, you know, to keep them mating. So it's almost like you, I think a good thing, a good number is like 12 or so, like 9 or 12. And uh, breed them and then kill half of them or something like that. I, I mean, I don't necessarily want them to keep growing exponentially or anything like that, but you don't want to go too crazy. I mean, that's just nothing space. Okay. Much better, nice and cleaned up. And still light out. Okay. So now... All right, it needs to be... I like to do what I like to do is nine by nine. I know it's you know technically eight by eight, but I like to have actual center, so I do everything in odds. And then um, I believe the spawning space is one above the spawner, and no, 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 it's one above and one below. And then you grant an extra space down here for the water to travel. So where, the, where these blocks are now, that's where the water is going to go. So we're going to go ahead and take these out of here. Oh, you know what? It helps if I mark it so I can count. Oh, you know what? I need to start cooking up the um, the cobblestone so that way I can get stone brick, which makes these kind of builds a whole lot more attractive. Sorry, right, so that is one, right? And we're gonna go. No, wait, that's not one. That's just a setter. So, so that's one, two. Three, and I think that's four, right? Because you need to go four in each diagonal. I think. One, two, three, four. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. And yes, I do have that efficiency enchantment, but I'd like to save that for when I have diamond which I'm hoping to get once I get this mine shaft going. So you can see the, <laughs> the, the the pickle that I'm in here. It's like A leads to B leads to C leads to D. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Sorry, I second guess my counting all the time. So something to be aware of with this LP. Three, four, five, perfect, okay. Let's go the other direction here. One, two, three, and four. Did I do that right? One, two, three, four. Yep. Cool. I really don't need to cut out this couple, but I want to it's going to be in the way eventually. Alright. And that means that I can now cut... Well, am I doing this right? Oh yeah, I'm going to need to put in a real ceiling here, but again, I'm waiting for the... Uh, get the stone brick going. Which will also give me XP, which will be nice. Ooh, iron. Yeah, new. No. Don't want to break, don't want to break, don't want to cause zombies to say hello without our permission. Okay, one, two, three, and four. I like it. I like it a lot. And I know that there's more efficient ways of doing things, yada, 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 but... I am stubborn and I like the ways that work for me, as I'm sure you are too. One, 
two, three, and four. So it should be a total of nine by nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yay! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Okay, how are we looking here? Nighttime, entrance is going to be this way. So, I suppose... Hmm. I suppose I could totally start digging down, but... I don't have any way to climb back out. And I could, like... Hmm could make ladders, but I don't really like them, so I suppose I should start getting vines going. And that's something that I could just go AFK and let them start happening and dig out little by little, because that is not interesting. And I, <laughs> I hate to be stubborn for stubborn's sake, but I really don't like ladders. I just don't. <laughs> um, plus, uh, this is something that I'm going to need to allow to drop them, and if I have ladders... It's a pain to get rid of them, versus if I have vines, I can run water. Well, I'm going to have water in here um, to push the zombies into the center, so I can just run water and flood it, and that'll take care of the vines. So I might as well just get started on the vines, and I think I have some here somewhere. Oh, I need to get the sugar placed. Ah, so much to do. Um, Where did I... Okay. Oh, you know what? So that's going to require eight, right? Let's get that cooking. And yes, I have iron. I'll get that. Don't worry. Mm. Oh. oh, hello. Oh, it's a villager one. I want to keep you. Damn it. I want to keep you, but you're going to kill me. Dang it. I really wanted to keep him. I just don't have any way to store him. Plus, who knows when I'm actually going to get to the... Uh... Oh, gosh, how are they finding me down here? Who knows when I'm actually going to get to... Uh... Not the end, but... Um... What you call it? The nether. Who knows... I should probably get a bow going soon here. Bah. That's a crappy bow. What was I going to do? Oh yeah, vines. Need those. Put those up there. Shears, please. Oh, I don't want my kid. I don't need that yet. Mm, excuse me. Okay, let's... Well, you know, probably wouldn't hurt to just get this whole thing surrounded in it, right? Might as well. Just lace the wall with, uh, with the vines. I uh, probably should have put it in the ceiling before getting the floor out of here, but eh, we all make mistakes. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay, so for starters... Oh, uh, what am I doing? That goes there, that goes there. Grow, grow. 
That was dumb. I probably should have just taken this out here. Hollow that out. Yeah, let's... F oh, dang it. Alright, I need to go get some more vines. Let's see if I can find some. Because these four is just not going to be enough. Oh. Sleep, please. And yeah, so you got we got another player on the server here, and my fellow LPers and friends I know are welcome to join. Uh, there's no applications, but I'll be uh, sending out invitations to folks that want to be able to play here. Okay, what was I gonna grab? Shears. Where did I put my shears? Thank you. Let's go. Hunt us down some vines. And see if we can get the cows breeding a little bit more. They're over here. Hi, cows. Died? Lame. Oh, so lame. No wonder. Okay, this is going to be quick. I'm going to have to get them a proper pen here, too, because this is just not going to... This is just not going to work. So i got to be able to get in there and... Oh, hello. I need to be able to get them fed while also stealing their leather. Come here, buddy. Come get me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I schooled you. No more of them? Okay. These need to grow. These need to grow. Hey, trees grow. Ooh, and that tree grew into a monster tree. Not as epic as that first tree, but, you know, nothing really is. <laughs> um, okay, what are we going to do? Oh, yeah, vines. Where the chicken am I going to find vines? I suppose this is the uh, closest... Gimme, gimme, gimme. I don't know how many I need, but I'm thinking can never have too many. Well, you figure... Oh, dang it. What a waste. Um, what level are we on now? We're at 64, right? And I'm probably going to mine around 12 or so. So that's math. It's hard. Like 40? If my math is... Oops. If my math is correct. Now that's, again, not... That's not accounting for spread of the vines, but... You know, I'll, I, I'll definitely want to use them elsewhere as decoration, as, you know, as well as function, because I, I like them a whole bunch. Wow, they're just all over in here. Ooh, fun cave? Ooh, there's a bat in here. Goodness. And once again, something to explore later. So many. I bet they're all connected by one giant ravine. Would not surprise me. How many are we up to? 30? Oh, I like this tree. Look at all these vines. Yes! Gimme! I will take what you are offering. Oh, damn. Don't 
want to go too high because then you'll lose them. Alright, that should be enough to sustain me for a bit, I think. Let's get back to it. Man, there's so many pigs. So many pigs. Um, where is my house over here? Ah, there we go. It's starting to look like somebody lives here. Yay! Okay, so as far as these cows go for right now, I think what I can do is... There's nothing really over here, so I could just make this even bigger. Because I don't want these guys to die. Well, at least not unless I kill them. Oh, you know what I need? I need a trapdoor. That will that will allow me to get to them nice and easy. But for the life of me, I don't remember how to make one. Oh, I wish I used those because I've got so much fence. I want to say it's those and sticks. Oh, let's see here. Yes. First try. Awesome. How are we doing with that? Almost done. Cool. Alright, I want to make this bigger. Okay, yep, go there. There, that way they can't get out, although I don't even know if they could. Okay, yeah, you guys are getting in my way. Stop it. Okay, how do I do this? Are these guys getting in my way? Okay, good. Cool. No! Okay, so that should be a whole lot happier, right? Okay, well, wait, maybe... How wide is that? Three? Let's go one more. There, cows. You happy? Oh, he's happy. Alright, good. We'll get out of here, then. Cool. Awesome. Can they breed again? Horny cow says yes. Alright, good. Oh, more squid. Oh, wow, a whole bunch of squid. I will take your easy XP and your endless supply of ink sacks, which I have no intention of using for anything. Die. Wow, more. Okay. Pumpkin gonna grow, pumpkin gonna grow. I wish you could really use them something for other than pumpkin pie, like if you could eat pumpkin seeds, that'd be pretty rad. But my goal for them is, of course, poor man's, what do you call it, poor man's, uh, oh, what's that lighting thing called? Oh, holy smokes, these things are growing quick. Glowstone. Poor man's glowstone. Wow. These things are all over. Which is the point, but still. Alright, I need to make sure I'm facing the right way. Good. Okay. Hmm... I wish I knew how long this has been recording. I forgot to time it once again. One of these days I'll remember to do that. So this might end up being a longer episode. I think for right now, I want to start digging down. Now, 
I always misjudge on how far down to make these things. I think it's 23 or something like that. So let's kind of get an idea here. So if I'm at 54, uh, that'd be 31, something like that. So let's do what you're not supposed to do and dig down. I got a bucket. I should be okay. And we'll see what happens here. Oh, you know what? Better idea. If I do this, I should be able to dig down without actually hurting myself. If, if I remember right. If I hold shift, yes. Excellent. Very good. Ooh. Iron. Oh, I guess I could put dirt in there. Cobble. Cobble's so ugly, though. I just can't pass up the iron. Gonna need so much of it. I mean, once I get diamond, you know, use that for tools, but I still probably use uh, the old uh, iron for armor. Now, it used to be that the indicator that you had gone far enough as far as drop. Oh no, I'm doing this wrong, aren't I? Oh, because that won't make him so that we could kill him. That that won't be far enough. Hmm. Well, it's a whole lot easier, and that way I don't have to do a water elevator. I don't need him to be like one-hit kills. I'm not too worried about that. Alright, well, we'll stick with the game plan. Okay, so the indicator was when you were looking at these, if the flame stopped, you were close enough. But then there was like some I don't know if they fixed it where it was actually needed to be like too closer I think so we'll see how that goes here of course the downside of being on this vine is that uh, it takes longer to mine them but that's okay Not too bad going two at a time. All right, still going. Oh, that's not a good sign. I'd hate to bust through into a ravine. That would really put a cramper in what I'm trying to build here. Ordinarily, they're fun, but... Okay, so the flame went away. So, okay, if I go up one... All right, so th that might be the low point. So I'd need to be standing at this level and still have them spawn. So that should be... Oh, great, and I hear water, too. All right, so that should be pretty decent here. All right, now I don't remember what I was going to do next. Well, I think I would just wanted to keep on going down so I can get my mine shaft going. And this will just be a marker for that. So, um, cause I don't necessarily need to stop here. Um, I don't know what's more important to me right now: getting the mine shaft going for materials, or getting the little room cut out here for receiving the zombies and killing them. I'm kind of conflicted. So, I think for right now is I'll probably just. Call that an episode and leave it there. All right. Have a good day, guys.